Autism is a brain development disorder whose diagnosis has been on the rise for the past two decades. The accepted reason for increased diagnosis is believed to be a change in the manner in which children have been diagnosed. Despite decades of research, there is no specific cause or cure for autism. It is believed that autism can be attributed to genetic causes or environmental causes. This disorder is characterized by a lack of social skills, lack of communication skills, and repetitive behaviors. It can also be marked by sensory overload. Autistic children are most commonly diagnosed by age three. When visual signs such as lack of responsiveness and repetitive behaviors such as rocking or spinning become apparent. Other forms of autism include Rett syndrome, Asperger's, and PDD-NOS, which are unspecified forms. Just as there is no known cause for autism, there is also unfortunately no cure. Research shows that autism is best treated by early intervention. Early intervention and strategies developed for each specific child have proven to help autistic children function at higher levels than without interventions. In the classroom, I have had the opportunity to teach three autistic children and two children with Asperger's over the past four years. Just as agriculture education is learned by doing, for the student, teaching agriculture is sometimes learned by doing as well. From teaching autistic children, I have learned that what you say is taken very literally. They do not think figuratively and most often do not understand sarcasm. When doing a go get it moment in class, one student with Asperger's jumped from his seat and leapt over desks, trying to get to info cards that I had placed around the room. When I asked why he responded that way, he told me it was because I said, jump to it. Some modifications that may be helpful for teaching students with autism or Asperger's in agriculture are to not overload them with wordy directions, give clear short directions once and state them in short steps. Instead of requiring notes, maybe print the notes but ask the student to draw pictures in the margins of what the notes mean. Sticking to a classroom routine can minimize frustration and outbursts because the student can anticipate what will occur daily and not become alarmed with sudden change. With respect to SAE, most of my students have SAE animal projects housed at our school farm. My autistic students have all raised animals at the school farm and have excelled in doing so. They have to come to the farm for regular cleaning days. We train them when the animals arrive and they, are, they thrive on the routine of carrying out the daily feeding and cleaning tasks. This also makes them part of a group who cleans together and they're together doing this each week. The group setting promotes an equal respect for the general education students and the autistic students alike as they complete a set list of tasks together. Some modifications made for students for the FFA portion of their grade include collecting things for the FFA. When we have a canned food or coat drive, I sometimes have my autistic student manage the drive. They keep track of what is donated from their period, make lists, count and give totals so they feel responsibility and pride. I also encourage them to attend FFA events so they can be part of group situations as well. For students who have a difficult time with sensory overload, a modification for attending the activity is to find their interest in the activity and give them responsibility relative to that interest. This makes them involved in the activity positively and holds them accountable for something. For example, I have an autistic student who has become the official DJ for our FFA events. He never misses a meeting, plays great music, feels good about a job well done, and gets compliments from his peers. I also encourage these students to attend community service events where they serve dinners or speak to the public because they are amazing at task completion, enjoy the events, and have earned a portion of their grade while building interpersonal skills. These are just a few of the ways I modify FFA and SAE activities for students with this exceptionality.